I am performing this on request. Of course, the person who requested it is not in the... Oh, no, she's right behind you in a blue dress where I can't possibly find her. What? <laughs> so... I'm lurking. This is a piece that I started many years ago. Um, it is still a, waker, a work in process, but I would like to see how it goes. And I'm trying not to take up too much time with an entry. Um, based on a true story. It's called the Black Knight at Illidan. A black knight came to our hall as we watched in horror all he chained our lady down with the vices of society. Melancholy, fear and shame, wrath and sloth all spoil this game. Jealousy spreads like a choking vine and easel gossips destroy more than time. So he and his three champions challenge those at tourney there in order to win the freedom of Our Lady, our Barona of Illiton, Lady Fair. We must break these chains of golden might with the virtues of the good and right. Here, Lady of Illiton's honor we stand. Here as your people, we fight with our hearts and our loyalty to free you of these false golden chains so heavy and weary. A musician from the gallery, trembling, spoke to the Black Knight. Though we are not soldiers, we have a stake in this fight. We too stand against the vices you name and would play our skill to break a chain. He bravely nodded his assent, and the musicians to their service bent, playing music so lively and sweet brought joy to the heart and a dance to the feet. By lifting the spirits of lady and knight, they broke melancholy's chain and banished fortune and blight. Emmanuel von Vandenberg challenged combat with matched bucklers, though with these he never fought at all. The chain he'd strive to break or fall. At Leon were many blows exchanged between him and Black Knight's champion. The weapons he'd chosen he had yet to learn. He fell to the blows, but of opponent's respect he earned. He stood defeated in the bout, but held a victor's cheer. Through such courage facing the unknown, he had broke the chain of fear. Hans Richter next took up the call to break a vice for the lady of our hall. But despite feeling his skills were of no match or edge, he called one black champion out to single challenge. With two exchange blows and such a duel of might, when both who win, who bring their best against the one of whom they fight. The victor, Black Knight's champion, spoke up to commend this fighter who bravely gave his all, who had nearly won in the end. There is no real defeat when the blows are taken that are thrown, and the chain of shame links proved broken by shared pride and renown. Each Aztec knight <laughs> strove forth and sharply said, I would take on all of these burdens and vices in her stead. I, our lady's champions, would not see her chain while I've strengthened my arm and swords to defend. His swords, they flew as he charged the line, all comers he took on for a time. Although when discovered a chain had broke, he would not pause until the last sword stroke. By his love of combat, honor, and fealty, Wrath's chain was snapped through just melee. Master Thomas Pennington, leaning on his shield, came up to his brothers in arms upon the tourney field and spoke his words against the chains, seemed to shake himself awake, and gauntlet he threw boldly down and caused the ground to shake. The Black Knight had three champions. Five counted blows he would come against these men. With five more blows he challenged the Black Knight. Twenty counted blows in all he would attempt this fight. Three of four bouts he did complete, but fatigue in the fourth halted him as it must. But the company found his work transformed Sloth's gold chain in the pyrite dust. Thorfinn Furskin called his shot as jealousy he knew well. He'd faced the Black Knight's champion, and he had this to tell. Long have I watched others 
travel this armored path to glory. Instead of watch, <laughs> instead of wanting what they have, I true shall try to find my story. But while Thorfinn fought his challenge, another claimed the prize. Though Daniel announced that it was he who brought down Jan Jealousy's demise, yet when he was told another had also belt, bent to this same aid, he decided to wait to claim the win in case Thorfinn would share the fame. No matter who had won and lost to free Illitan's lady with this mutual goal and brotherhood and cooperation together, unlock Jealousy's vine grip hold. One chain remained, vexing all, though we tried, <coughs> it just would not break or fall. The Black Knight decided it was his to break. Evil gossips ruin his own task to take. So he undid his helmet, his true visage we'd know. All there quickly took one knee for our shoner to show. For as he stepped barefaced to tourney ring, we saw no black knight but Midrealm's own king. And our Lady of Illiton knew her freedom we won, when into that silence we heard the final chain undone. Lady of Illitans, honor we stand, here as your people we fight, with our hearts and our loyalty to free you of these false golden chains so heavy and weary. <laughs>